I think one of Labour's great achievements in the last 10 years is, is to see the number of women in Parliament rising, although well, there's still more to go, we need to double numbers to get to, um, to fair representation. The same is true with the rise in um, BM, BAME uh, MPs as well, still to double the numbers. But one of the areas which really worries me is the absolute decline we've seen since 1997 in the number of MPs from a working class, from a skilled or unskilled manual background. And part of the reason is that these days with one member, one vote, it's much more expensive to be a candidate for selection as an MP. Uh, you know, if you think of it, time off work, potentially hiring a car, 300 members to see, all the letters to send out, maybe printed materials, can cost two or three thousand pounds to um, be selected as a candidate. And if you find two or three before you get there, 10,000 pounds. and there aren't many people with £10,000 and an understanding employer around. That's why I think we need to think about this hard. I've proposed a diversity fund in this leadership election to divert some of the money we raise from our fundraising to support people who want to be candidates, women, um, BME, but also um, from low-income backgrounds and, and middle-income backgrounds who want to be MPs to give them financial support so that they can break through some of those barriers. I think it's the best way to make sure our politics is properly representative. I think this diversity fund is a really good idea and uh, I hope we can take it forward in the coming months.